let's look at the five conditions where prednisone doesn't work as well. Number one is active Crohn's disease. Prednisone only gets a rating of 4.7. Granted, it's only three reviews. While prednisone helps during flares, long-term control of this disease is much better achieved through biologics and newer medications. Number two is sarcoidosis with a rating of 6.0 in five reviews. The problem is the results are inconsistent with this disease and the side effects often outweigh the benefits for people with sarcoidosis. Number three is psoriatic arthritis with a rating of 6.0 from six reviews. Prednisone may worsen psoriasis for some patients, making it less effective. Plus for this disease, there are so many biologic and newer treatments that work well and come with less side effects. Number four, immune thrombocytopenia, also known as ITP, way back in the day, known as idiopathic thrombocytopenia purpura, only received a rating of 3.5 from four reviews. Prednisone, while it saved my life, it stopped working over time for me. I needed higher and higher doses with more and more side effects to get the same benefit. Number five is atopic dermatitis, also known as eczema. The rating is only 3.0 from three reviews. While it might provide temporary relief, the symptoms often quickly return after stopping prednisone. 